this is the smoothest android os that i've tested and it's called the bliss os 15. so in this video let us take a closer look at it and at the end i will tell you how to install it so watch it completely so first of all you can check out the notifications and the quick toggles they are separated because it is in the tablet mode and it's the newer one because it is based on android 12 as i will tell you later uh, you also have the google feed on the left side and this is a screen recording so it can be uh, it can be a little bit laggy but actually it is really smooth without it and uh, you can see in the cpu z applications i have the ryzen 5 2500u which is in the most powerful and 8 gb of ram and it's running uh, super smooth on it so this is the settings panel how it looks and it is uh, segmented in two parts so it's easier for you to interact and you can see it's android 12 and uh, it is in still in the beta stage and it's surprisingly it's really smooth and uh, we have the blissify and have all the options that we get for the android os as if you have used bliss os on your phone so we have we have all of these options here as well and i would suggest you to keep the system navigation as three button um, so it's easier for you to go back as you can see on the right bottom side we have the three button we have settings related to lock screen so we can enable the charging information or change the the lock screen format the clock font uh, we also have the status bar so we have the icons option for the color icon you can check out on the top left side all the other options are related to the network and uh, the network icon which we do not have here and uh, other than that we have the theme option and in theme we can change the wi-fi icon style so we have a lot of options and it just restarts the system ui and you can check out the new wi-fi icon other than that we have the icon shape and the navbar style uh, the navbar style does not work here even if you uh, like apply it and restart it does not apply so it just doesn't work on, on the left side you can notice there is a taskbar option so it is not the helpful because it just is there but you can also access all these using the three button also on the right side um, but it's there because if you want to have a windows like ui you can have it and also we can use the widget button to ask to like add widgets and but you can only access this widget only using that icon so it's not the most useful but if you can you uh, if you want to you can use it there's also app launcher just like windows but you can also access the app launcher by just swapping up using the mouse um, this is much much faster and more natural for me so up next we're going to try some android games so the first one is going to be bgmi and unfortunately it does not work and shows up the same error that uh, it, did, it did on the prime os maybe because it's uh, recognizes as emulator and even free fire does not work so if you are planning to play games on it uh, that's not a good idea for android applications it's a different case uh, first of all instagram is working properly and it was crashing on prime os even on chrome os for whatever reason but here it is working quite fine and we know that instagram on the chrome browser does not give you the full experience so this is much better than that and also the applications like uh, snapchat for example it shows up the sign up button so i'm hoping it's going to work um, also if you're facing error uh, regarding the orientation like suddenly it goes to portrait mode you can use this set orientation application to correct that and also we get a full-fledged uh, file manager here and if you if you plug in your usb drive it's going to direct it and you can manage that so that's a good thing here also ott apps like uh, geo cinema netflix Crunchyroll all are working so you can easily enjoy all your favorite web series and movies on the Bliss OS 15 so so for the applications like I said is really good even the YouTube app if you are mostly watch YouTube like me um, so all of them are working so if you're not into the gaming all the Android applications are working uh, like quite fine here so I'm really impressed by that and we have the Google Play Store as our disposal so we can install as many applications as we want uh, so next let's move on to how to install it on our pc so right now on the windows 11 so first we're going to download the iso and going to the website we will choose the bliss os 15 version and then just going to click on the latest uh, the 64 bit and download it so it gets updated uh, frequently so just download the latest version and once the download is finished we will also need a program so we're going to download rufus 
uh, which is going to help us create the bootable drive so just visit this website and download it and once you open the program we need to select our pen drive so i will recommend 8 gb of pen drive then we will select our iso that we have downloaded the bliss os and next we need to choose the partition scheme so for me it is the gpt and if you find out uh, if you want to find out yours just right click go to the disk management and and here we need to select the disk zero just right click and select properties and under volume you can see your uh, gpt drive or the mbr whatever it is so accordingly just select that and then just start the process it's going to take some time so let it be and uh, once it's going to finish you need to power off your uh, computer and while restarting you need to press the boot menu key so it's different for different uh, manufacturers and once you will see this uh, screen we need to select our pen drive so for me it's the third option and uh, now we need to select the installation so the last option so this is going to install it in the primary if you want to learn how to dual boot there is a separate video for that uh, but here we need to we will uh, install it as primary so after you have done it you need to select your uh, the largest drive for me it is the 457 gb uh, which has the primary installed in it so i'm just going to select that and then we will format it as xt4 so press yes and it's going to format it and after a while it's going to ask you for to install efi grub so we will say yes just click on it so this method will remove the windows completely so and it's not going to dual boot so you need to back up before you proceed so now we will reboot and after that you will see this option you can select intel if you have intel processor or just uh, like move with the default selected option and finally we have booted in the bliss os and we can set it up with our wi-fi and everything and uh, another point i want to say is uh, select here quick step instead of taskbar like i did and you're good to go so that was how to install bliss os it is for the primary if you want to check for dual boot check my other video so that was it thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one